Hello everyone. Now we continue to calculate the late finish and late start times. It's begin with the last event and the work backward. The backward pass rule are follow. If an activity is an immediate predecessor for just a single activity, its latest finish equal to the latest start of the activity that immediately follow it. If an activity is an immediate predecessor to the more than one activity, its latest finish is the minimum of all latest start value of all activity that immediately follow it. The latest start time of an activity is the difference of its latest finish and its activity time. We start at activity age. The early finish is at time 15 and we do not want to delay the project completion. The late finish need to be set to 4. With the duration of 2, the latest that age can start is 13. Now consider the activity G. G must be done by the time 5 so that age can start. So G late finish is 13 and late start time is 8. Activity F E, D, and B has similar calculation with activity G. However, the activity A and C must follow the backward rules. The activity C must be done by 2 so the F and E can start. So C let finish is 4 from the choosing the smallest let start value from the F and E and the C let start time is 2. Similar with C, let finish in activity A is 2 from the smallest let start, value from C and D. A must be done by time 2 and let start time is 0. After computing the early start, early finish, let start and let finish time for all activity, we compute the slack or free time for each activity. Slack is the length of time an activity can delay without delaying the entire project. Activities with zero slack are on the critical path. It starts at the activity in the project, terminate at last activity in the project and include only critical activity. After we calculate, we found that A, C, E, G, and H are on the critical path and B, D, and F are not in the critical path. The critical path is the longest sequence of corrected activities through the network and defined as the path with the zero slack time. Finally, from the diagram we can see that activity A, C, E, G, and H are on the critical path. So that's all in my video. See you again in my next video.